We have an exciting one for you today. Nouveau Monde Graphite has suddenly acquired a second mine and they have shared a lot of goodies in their quarterly report. Of course, there is quite a bit to unpack in this entire Q1 2022 report from Nouveau Monde Graphite. So I'm here to do that work for you. Here's everything I believe you should know from this most recent NMG quarterly report. And here's everything I believe you should know from this most recent acquisition. Last quick sidestep, if you're looking for a more general overview of Nouveau Monde Graphite, you should be watching this video instead. The link will be in the top right corner as well as in the description. The updates. First of all, NMG has leveled up their engagement towards off-day agreements with potential tier 1 customers in the EV and battery space. Off-day agreements are where a material supplier like NMG and a buyer, for example Tesla, determine the amount sold and the price years before the transaction takes place. I believe these off-day agreements will mark a huge milestone for NMG and I do believe this can be a significant catalyst going forward. Aside from that, the company has made significant progress with both their Metawini mine and the Bacon plant, but more on those two in just a bit. Before that, some smaller highlights. And the first one is the company is actively looking at ways to finance their two projects. Actually, NMG has received a non-binding letter of interest from two export credit agencies. I'm curious to see how much future dilution is in the books, but we will need to wait for the specifics on that. Second, continued collaboration with Caterpillar to hopefully one day produce the zero emission fleet needed for the phase two Metawini mine. We were already aware of this collaboration happening and I'm excited to see what all this planning and especially all that engineering will bring in the future. Third, NMG receives an A2 robust sustainability rating from Moody's, which is pretty exciting since sustainability is one of the biggest selling points for NMG. And lastly, for now, NMG is currently sitting on a cash position of $43.5 million. But we will talk extensively about their financials later on in this video. So those were some of the more general updates. Let's now dive a bit deeper into the updates of the Metawini mine and then into the updates of the Bacon Core plant. Metawini mine updates. As we can see here, civil work started in Q3 2021 and thus far some groundwork and an access road have been completed. As of right now, preparational work is currently underway. Of course, we are still talking about the 100,000 tons of flake graphite per annum plant, which should become operational by 2023. Additionally, the company has engaged the supplier Metso Autotech to source NMG's process equipment for the Metawini mine. From here on out, you can expect significant construction work to start at Metawini reasonably soon. And hopefully the mine will start commissioning somewhere in 2023. Anode facility updates. And for this one, we have a few very interesting updates as well. So first, as we can see here, the feasibility study for the phase two bacon core plant is currently underway. And apparently we can expect this study to become public during Q2 2022. Additionally, the company is working hard towards getting their phase one bacon core plant operational. And they seem to be well on track to get their shaping, purification and coating all up to 2000 tons per annum capacity. However, due to worldwide logistic disturbances, we are now expecting the phase one bacon core plant to become operational during the second half of 2022. Originally, we were expecting the first half of 2022, so this is disappointing. However, delays are to be expected with any mining company. It is just a part of the game. This industry, the mining industry, is significantly different than any other. And if you are investing in a mining company, you should be aware of the risk of a missed deadline. I don't believe this one missed deadline is the end of the world, and hopefully NMG is able to get their phase one plant operational soon. So those were the main updates regarding the mine and the anode plant, but NMG also gave us a market update. According to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, we can expect a graphite deficit of 2 million tons per annum by the end of this decade. As a reference, the entire graphite market is only a couple of million tons per year anyways. And as you can imagine, this huge deficit between supply and demand can and probably will do funky things to the price of graphite. Hence why I am so interested in investing in this sector. 
According to the same source, graphite will most likely outpace any other battery material demand-wise. And we are already seeing huge increases in graphite prices. Year over year, graphite prices have increased about 29.7%. Since graphite is so darn important for the future of electric vehicles, the EU, Canada and the US have identified graphite as a strategic mineral for economic growth and national security. So as you can see, the graphite market is heating up and that is awesome if you are invested in graphite. Great news and I am super excited for the future of this sector. Now there is a very interesting news report we should be talking about. Mason Graphite Deal Basically, NMG acquired a second property to source their graphite from, and keep in mind, this news report dropped just yesterday. The second feedstock of graphite will come in the form of a joint venture agreement. Basically, Mason Graphite and NMG will start up a second company, which will be owned 51% by NMG and 49% by Mason Graphite. Important to note, NMG will still need to complete a feasibility study for this property with a minimum of 250,000 tons per annum of graphite concentrate. And by the way, this is a huge amount. NMG's current plans for the Metal Mini mine are only 100,000 tons per year. Important to note, this property already has an NI43101 mineral report and it has about 65.5 million tons of graphite, grading at about 17% purity, which is a ton of graphite at an extremely high purity, significantly more pure than the Metawini property. And for this 51% stake, NMG will need to pay about $5 million Canadian, and they will need to complete these two things. First, a minimum of $10 million of expenditures from NMG on the property, and second, that aforementioned feasibility study. Additionally, thanks to this collaboration, NMG will also start processing graphene at the Bacon Core and Out Material plant. So, short summary of this news report. If this deal goes through, subject to the proof of the TSX and the Mason Graphite shareholders, NMG will acquire 51% of a super pure graphite deposit, which it can use to power its anode facility in the future. This is huge news in my opinion, and one of the big flaws of NMG, its low starting rate of graphite, is now officially covered. However, one of the other big flaws of NMG, the continued need of a lot of cash, has only become a bigger flaw thanks to this news report. And with that article covered, the last thing we should dive into, a financial overview. NMG's asset position has actually decreased quarter to quarter, and that mainly stems from this decrease in their current assets. Current assets are the most liquid assets, so it makes sense that this position decreases over time. After all, NMG is actively spending millions upon millions of dollars to get their two facilities up and running. NMG's total liabilities has decreased, which is almost always a good thing, but your shareholders' equity has decreased significantly at a tune of about $15 million lost in shareholders' equity. That means that the book value that you own as a shareholder has decreased quarter over quarter. I think it is important to note that the cash position has decreased significantly, and at this pace, NMG will need significantly more cash relatively soon. Additionally, their property, plant, and equipment position increased significantly, which is only logical, but still a good thing to see. During Q1, the company spent about $5.6 million on the battery material plant with these costs and these prices, so do pause the video if you want to analyze them for yourself. Also, the company spent about $2 million on exploration and evaluation. Again, pause the video if you want to analyze these numbers for yourself. And I believe those were the most interesting things we should gather from this earnings report. Keep in mind, I am no financial advisor and full transparency, I hold no current position in Nouveau Monde Graphite. However, I am fully planning to start up a position later this year again. Oh, and do let me know if you appreciate content just like this one. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Peace.